we are so privileged to have as our very special guest, um, not only to our church, but to our community, um, who has done much across the nation um, in reference to um, responsibility and accountability within the Christian and the African American community. Um, he has traveled um, and get into 11 o'clock last night, um, but we pray that God will give him strength and that God will give him what this house needs. We're happy to have with us Dr. Jawamza Kanjumfu to be our very special guest. So I'm going to ask, I'm going to leave, you would just receive this man of God as he comes by saying, Amen. Amen. It's an honor to be behind this um, sacred desk because of your pastor. I'm on the road about three or four days of every week, and if I agree to stay over on Sunday and preach, it has to be in a certain type of church. As you know, Pastor Green, there are 85,000 churches in Black America, and they come in three different categories. First of all, we have entertainment churches. They sing, they dance, they shout, but they don't do any work. And I hate preaching at entertainment churches. And then we have containment churches, only open on Sunday from 11 o'clock to 1. Closed the rest of the weekend, took your money with them, containment churches. Oh, but then we have your church, the Liberation Church.
in the Lord. Amen. Second question. Do you love God? Yes, sir. Well, I know we all, we all say we love God, but that's what his words say. If you love me, then obey or keep my command. Now, I'm telling you the truth now. Pastor Green did not ask me to say this. But turn with me to Leviticus 27, verse 30. I repeat, Pastor did not ask me to say this. Leviticus 27, verse 30. Satan's mad. Yeah. I hate hearing them Bible pages move. Just come to church without the Bible. Don't take notes on the sermon. So then when your friends ask you at 6 o'clock, what was the sermon? I don't know. Yeah. It be it Monday morning at 9 o'clock. Now I've given you two extra minutes to find Leviticus. <laughs> Leviticus 27, 30. When you have it, say word up. Word up. And all the time of the land, whether of the seed of the land or the fruit of the tree, is the Lord. Yes. It is holy to the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Now before we look at today's sermon, this is not the sermon, I'm just, I'm just warming up. Do you know only 27% of Christians are tithing? Now the other 73% they love God. But they don't love him enough to give him his Yeah. I've never seen 
the righteous forsaken, nor his descendants begging for bread. Now, again, I haven't started preaching yet. In Isaiah 8, verse 18, it says, We were made for signs and wonders. See, the church, if you went, you follow the life of Jesus, it was a life of miracles. Yeah. There should be something special about you. People should want to have what you have because you're blessed. Yeah. And so before we go on, I need a testimony. See, how strong is your faith? And what are you believing God for? See, faith is like a muscle, and you've got to develop the muscle. And remember, it's your faith, not God. Remember, in his hometown, he performed very few miracles. Now, he's still Lord, he's still Savior, but it requires your faith. Yes, sir. And Matthew 9, my favorite scripture, Matthew 9, 27 to 29, says, Do you believe I can do this? The blind man said, Yes, Lord. And then Jesus said, According to your income. Did he didn't say that? According to whether you live in Akron, Cleveland, or Burlington. Did he didn't say that? According to your good looks. According to your degree. No, no. According to to your faith. Not mine, not Jesus. According to your faith, let it be unto you. Yeah. See, people should be knocking the doors now, getting up in here, because this place should be a place of miracles. Yeah. And in many churches, the church is a place of unbelief. Yeah. We have a book table being set up later on after service, and one of my earlier books is titled, Satan, I'm Taking Back My Health. Yeah. There's too much death in the church, too much sickness in the church. So before we go on, I want the unbelievers to hear a miracle. I want you to hear a testimony. Is there a saint in the house with a, a testimony? With something you will believe in God for and you receive the breakthrough. The church needs to hear that this morning. Right. Can I hear a testimony from somebody? God has had to have been good to somebody. There's got to be at least one miracle. And how good? Well, I was going to say, Pastor, it can't be you. Yes, sir. Yes, it is. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm here to justify today that the Lord is good. Yes, yes. That's what he brought me from where lots of people are going out there would come. Mm -hmm. All right. Even I, at one time, had a doubt. Mm -hmm. But when I called on the Lord right. uh, and put it, everything in his hands, yeah. he brought me through. All right. Right. And I know it wasn't nobody but a God that he could do what he did for me. Yes, sir. Right. It wasn't up to the doctor. So I'll have my doctor tell me that this could be the one that Midwives, of whom the 